So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and in this tutorial I would like to show you uh, how you can generate uh, multiple different things from the library using JavaScript. And uh, right now I will show you what we are going to be doing. So I already created a very similar tutorial and in the tutorial I was generating uh, only one shape from the library and then I made it uh, clickable. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can generate multiple different things from the library. And uh, then uh, uh, every time that I'm going to refresh, it is going to position me them in a different place. And uh, once uh, one time I am going to have uh, two greens, then I am going to have uh, more of them and so on. And then I made it clickable. So uh, I made uh, an even listener on the blue ones. So if I'm going to click on them, them uh, they are going to have alpha 0 0.5. And if I'm going to click on the green ones, uh, they are going to disappear. Uh, but one thing that I want to say is that uh, I maybe uh, would recommend you to go ahead and watch the first tutorial and I'm going to provide the link in the description if uh, this one is going to be too hard. And the second thing is that I'm also going to provide uh, in the description uh, links for the for loop tutorial and for the random number uh, because I am not going to explain in this tutorial how you can generate the random number and we are going to be using it. And I am also not going to explain how you can use for loop. I have tutorials about it so you can go ahead and watch it. So yeah, this is what we are going to be doing. So right now I am in the Adobe Animate, I am in the HTML5 canvas, I have some width and height, I have 800 by 800, uh, but you can choose whatever width and height that you want. Uh, so what I'm going to do as a first thing is I will just click anywhere and I will uh, change the color of the background uh, to something which is not white. And then I'm going to go to rectangle tool and I'm going to choose a blue color uh, like so. And I'm going to draw a shape using uh, shift to stay proportional. And then I'm going to click on the shape and I will go to the modify, convert to symbol or F8. I can call this symbol one, that's fine. And I want this to be a movie clip and I'm going to click OK. Now I will go to the library. Maybe you will have to extend your library, your library a little bit. And there is this uh, linkage. So I'm going to double click in here and I'm going to call this to be blue one. Uh, now I will go to my code. So on the layer one, I can rename this to be code. I'm going to uh, first of all delete this shape because I want to get it from the library and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose actions. Uh, now what I can do is I can type uh, this, add the child and I can add child which is going to be new uh, lib as the library and the uh, blue one. And now if I'm going to hit control enter, uh, we are going to have our, our shape in here. You can uh, in the Google Chrome uh, right click and choose inspect and go to the console uh, to make sure that do, you don't have any error or you can just click uh, F12 and it is going to open your console. Uh, sometimes you are going to have uh, in here uh, an error fail to load but if you refresh it it is going to disappear. Uh, but yeah. Uh, now what I can do is uh, instead of writing it like so, I can create a variable so I can type uh, let uh, blue uh, shape is going to be equal to this new uh, lib uh, blue one like so. And then instead of writing in here this new lib blue one, I'm just going to put in there the name of the variable and this is going to do basically the same thing like so. Uh, now uh, I am going to put all of this to the function. So I'm going to create a function uh, and I'm going to like so and I'm going to call it to be generate uh, shapes and uh, parenthesis uh, curvy parenthesis and the uh, now I'm going to uh, cut all of this into the function uh, like so and then I'm going to call the function. But uh, this is going to give me an error and I will show you. I will hit Ctrl Enter and I'm going to hit F12 and I'm going to have an error. Uh, this uh, at child is not a function. Uh, the thing is, and this is like a little bit uh, difficult to explain, but when we are inside of the functions, we cannot use this. We will have to create a variable. So I'm going to go let and I'm going to call the variable to be root, but you can call it whatever. And I'm going to make it equal to this. And basically when you are inside of the functions, you will have to use uh, instead of this uh, root. And one day I will create a tutorial about this, but for now it's like so. And if I'm going to hit control enter, right now this is going to be working fine. 
Uh, now, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to generate a random number uh, between uh, my, my stage right now. Oh, let me <laughs> let me open it like so. Uh, my stage right now is 800 uh, by 800, and the shape has the zero uh, in in the corner in here. So if I if I would position uh, this uh, random shape uh, to the x position, uh, which is going to be 800, it would be uh, in here like so. And if I would position it to the y, uh, to 800, it would be here. So uh, I will go back to the code and uh, I can go ahead and create a variable which is going to be let uh, x, uh, x uh, position and it is going to be equal to uh, math.floor uh, math.random and uh, I can go ahead and multiply this uh, by 800, but I don't want to do this uh, like so, because if I duplicate it by 800, uh, what can happen is that it's going to be outside of the stage. So I'm just going to multiply this by uh, 700, uh, but, uh, but yeah, and I'm going to do the same thing with the Y position. So I'm just going to copy this, paste this, and right now I'll let uh, Y position is going to be math.floor, math.random, uh, multiplied by 700. And now what I can do is I can type that uh, blue shape dot X is going to be equal to uh, X position. And uh, I'm going to duplicate this and blue shape uh, Y is going to be equal to Y position. And now uh, this is going to be uh, okay. I will uh, I will go back because um, I, I didn't uh, I I, <laughs> I made a mistake. This should be blue shape and this should also be blue shape. Okay, and I'm going to hit Control Enter. And right now, every time that I'm going to refresh, it is going to position me this uh, in a different place. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function which is going to uh, call this function multiple times. So I'm going to type uh, function multiple uh, shapes and uh, in the in this function, I'm going to create a for loop. So I'm going to type for uh, let i is going to be equal to zero. I is going to be smaller than 10, which means that it is going to run 10 times and then i plus plus. And then inside of this for loop, I am going to uh, put this uh, function generate shapes and I will have to call this function multiple shapes. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to hit control enter. And right now we are going to generate uh, 10 shapes like so. And this is what I showed you in the, in the first tutorial. And uh, now uh, I would like to generate uh, different shapes. So first of all, I will go ahead and I'm going to create them. So I will go to the properties and I'm going to choose a red color and I'm going to create a shape like so. And now uh, I'm going to I'm going to go with the green shape. Uh, so I'm going to get a green color and I'm going to create a shape like so. Now I'm going to convert them to the symbol right now with the shortcut F8 symbol 2 and F8 symbol 3. And right now I can delete them from the stage and I will go to the library and I am going to extend my library. Uh, you could uh, name your symbols, but uh, if I click, I can see what color it is. So this one is red, so I'm going to call this to be red uh, one. And this one is going to be green, so I'm going to call this to be uh, green one. Uh, now I will go, I will just make it like so, and I will go back to my code, so with F9. And yeah, and uh, now what I want to do uh, is uh, in the function generate shapes, I'm going to create an array. And I am going to be using uh, let, okay? Uh, it's more common to use const with the uh, arrays, but I don't want to confuse you. So for all of the variables, I am just going to be using let <laughs> for now. And I'm going to type uh, let my uh, shapes uh, is going to be equal. And uh, in this array, I'm going to uh, type this uh, new uh, library blue one, then comma, then new library uh, red one, then comma and then new library uh, green one like so and uh, now i can get rid of uh, this uh, variable blue shape is equal to uh, new library blue one so i'm going to delete this and now i will have to 
uh, generate the random number between 0 and 2 because this, uh, this one has index 0, uh, this one has index 1 and this one has index 2. So we are going to generate the random number between 0 and 2. And if the random number is going to be 0, we will get this one. If 1, we will get this one and so on. So I'm going to type uh, let uh, shapes uh, index, for example, and I'm going to make it equal to math.floor. Uh, math dot uh, random and we are going to multiply this by the length of this my shapes which is like three so i'm going to type uh, multiplied by my shapes dot length all right and uh, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one more variable which is going to be let the shape and i'm going to make it equal to my shapes uh, of uh, shapes uh, index like so and basically uh, one more time we have this uh, LA then we are generating and I will have to put this uh, like uh, so and we are generating random number between 0 and 2 and then we are uh, saying that my shapes and if the index is going to be 0 my shape 0 is uh, this one my shapes 1 is uh, this one and my shapes 2 is uh, this one and then instead of writing root at child blue shape, this is the variable that we have deleted, I am going to uh, put this one. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in here like so, the shape. And then uh, at the bottom, uh, in here we are just generating the random numbers. Uh, but in here, instead of typing blue shape x, I'm going to type the shape x and uh, then the shape y. And now I'm going to hit control enter and we are going to generate uh, randomly uh, these different uh, shapes. All right, so hopefully this makes uh, sense for now. And uh, now what I want to do, if I want to make them uh, clickable, is I'm going to create at the top three variables. And one, one more time, I would usually go with const, but I don't want to make this confusing. So I will go let, let will work fine. So let uh, blue uh, shapes uh, is going to be equal to an empty array. And uh, then let uh, red shapes uh, is going to be equal also to an empty array. And then uh, the same variable for the green. So let green shapes is going to be equal to an empty array. Uh, now in here, I am going to uh, create an uh, if statement. So I can go in here uh, after this, uh, let uh, the shape is equal to my shapes, shapes index. And I'm going to type that if uh, shapes index and I will uh, rather uh, copy it so I'm going to copy this and paste it in here so if shapes index is going to be equal to zero and I want to go with the triple equal sign you should almost always go with the triple equal sign uh, if shapes index is equal to zero then what I want to do is I would like to push uh, the this shape to the blue shapes uh, array so I'm going to type uh, blue uh, shapes dot push and it is just going to put you the thing to the end of the array and blue shapes dot push and we would like to push uh, this uh, the shape okay so if the shape is going to be blue uh, and the shape is going to be blue when the shapes index is going to be zero so if shapes index is going to be zero then blue shapes dot push the shape then I'm going to type else if and I'm going to type uh, if uh, shapes index is going to be one. So I'm going to copy this and paste this. So if it's going to be one, then what I want to happen is uh, I would like to push this to the to the red one, because if uh, index is going to be one, then we are going to get the red one. So I'm going to type red shapes uh, dot push the shape. And then one more time, else if and else if uh, uh, this is going to be two, so I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in here. So else if shapes index is going to be two, then what I want to do is I would like to uh, push this uh, to the green one. So I'm going to copy this and this is going to be uh, green shapes dot push the shape. All right. So right now we should have uh, all of the blue shapes in this array, all of the red shapes in this array and all of the green shapes in this array. 
And what I can do uh, after calling this uh, multiple shapes function, I'm just going to create a for loop. So I'm going to type for, let i is going to be equal to zero. i is going to be smaller than blue shapes dot uh, length. And uh, then uh, i plus plus and the blue shapes uh, length uh, we don't know how many uh, blue shapes we are going to have maybe we are going to have two maybe we are going to have six we are generating 10 shapes and uh, randomly we can have whatever number of the blue shapes so that's why i'm going to use blue shapes dot length then i plus plus and in here i am going to type uh, blue shapes uh, i uh, add the event uh, listener and we would like to have an even listener of uh, click. And in here, uh, I just, I showed you this in the first tutorial, so I'm not going to show you the both ways. You can either call some function or you can put an anonymous function. I will go with anonymous. So I'm going to type function, uh, parenthesis, then uh, curvy parenthesis, and I can get rid of this uh, space. And I'm just going to basically type that uh, blue shapes uh, I, uh, alpha is going to be equal to 0 0.5 and if I'm going to hit control enter and I'm not going to have any error if I'm going to click on the blue shapes uh, uh, they are going to disappear like so let me refresh this and try this one more time so uh, yeah uh, this is this is working like uh, like so and now uh, we can go ahead and put an even listener to the to the green shapes for example so i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste it in here and right now uh, i am going to have for the let i is equal to zero i is smaller than uh, green shapes and uh, in here i will also change this because we would like to put an even listener to green shapes i and then we are going to put in here green shapes i alpha uh, to be zero but instead of that i am going to type v is equal is going to be equal to false all right and i'm going to hit control enter and right now if i'm going to click on the green ones they are going to disappear if i'm going to click on the blue ones they are going to have the alpha 0 0.5 and red ones uh, don't have even listeners uh, so yeah uh, basically this is it this is all uh, in the future i can create some tutorials which are going to be more like games uh, but uh, yeah uh, this is what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. So if you have watched until the end, <laughs> let me know in the comments. And if you think that uh, these tutorials are like uh, too slow or too difficult or whatever, uh, you can put it in the comments. So for the future, I will know uh, what I can do better. But yeah, uh, thank you very much for your time. And hopefully you have learned something. And hopefully I will see you in some more advanced tutorials or more beginners. <laughs> so thank you. Goodbye.